Hi guys, today we're going to be taking a look at Thermaltake's Overseer. Now this is a new case to hit the market, it's full tower and it is designed specifically for the gamer if you haven't already guessed. It's got the LED lights, it's got the Perspex window and of course it adopts that very rugged sort of look similar to the Chaser MK1. Um, inside we can house big CPU coolers, long graphics cards, it's got great cable management, it's got all the loopholes, um, the rubber grommets, and um, on the front panel we've got USB 3.0, we've got a hard disk drive docking station uh, for getting access to 2.5 inch, 3.5 inch drives fast and easy. So as we go into the video I'm going to show you various aspects of the case. If you've got any questions or comments just leave them in the box below. With the Overseer being specifically designed for the gamer, we've got a very rugged front fascia which has a mixture of plastic and metal. We've got a mesh panel which is covering the inner 200mm fan underneath there and we've got the thermal take logo which is metallic. Moving up we've got four five and a quarter bays which are removable from the inside of the case and we can actually remove this front fascia. We've got a filter behind the 200mm fan and we've also got foam pads for the five and a quarter bays and you can see there we've got the 200mm fan um, which is accessible there and we can remove that if we wanted to. At the top of Overseer towards the front we've got the front panel connectivity. Here we've got various ports and buttons that you can take advantage of. We've got USB 3, two of those ports. We've got two USB 2 ports, eSATA in the middle, headphone and a microphone jack. We've got the reset button on the left and we've got the power button on the right. And then in the centre here we've got a, an emblem which will glow uh, when we've got this powered up it will pulsate and then just behind these ports here we've got a docking station so here we can get fast access to three and a half inch or two and a half inch drives here I've just uh, slotted in a three and a half inch drive there as you can see very easy to get your hard disk drives in and out of the case uh, you just need to slot those in and as I said it'll take the smaller drives like your two and a half inch solid state drives. At the top of Overseer we've got a panel which is very much in keeping with the front of the case. We've got the uh, the rugged look, the styling, um, plastic running along the edges and then a mesh panel down the centre. And this panel can actually be removed. We just need to lift it from the back and the entire thing comes away. And with that removed we've got the 200mm fan here at the top and we've got space here also for mounting another 200mm fan. Moving to the side panels on Overseer, we've got on the prominent side panel a Perspex window here. Beneath this we've got an opening here for mounting a 200mm fan on the inside of the case. Both side panels by the way have the convex so on the uh, other side we've got more space for cables and on this side we've got a little bit more space for bigger CPU coolers. To remove these side panels you just need to remove two foam screws and once off you can see there we have a filter here which you can remove for that side fan and then inside we've got black interior we've got quite a lot of space we've got various toolless design for uh, optical drives, hard disk drives We've got foam screws for the PCI, lots of options for cooling and uh, obviously you can see you get high-end kit inside there. So now what we'll do is we'll go on a bit of a close-up tour of each aspect inside the case. At the bottom of Overseer there we've got a space for mounting the power supply unit. Now on the underside we don't actually have any anti-vibration pads but in most cases um, on the market you would typically get those anti-vibration pads not just to uh, provide a reduction in vibration but also obviously our unit is metal and the inside of the case is metal so you're going to get scratching so usually what I do is I penalize the case for that and really it would be great to see anti-vibration pads or any rubberized sort of padding in that area um, but anyway on the underside there we've got a filter which is removable As you can see there it covers the slot here as well and you can see 
it's got the honeycomb strip and uh, you can just clean that or wash it and next to that you can see the opening there we can mount a bottom 120mm or a 90mm fan for just that extra airflow. Moving up we've got eight PCI expansion slot covers each of these come with the ventilation holes for better airflow and we've also got the thumb screws so we can easily remove them. To the side we've got two water cooling grommets, the rubber grommets, um, so we can feed our tubes in and out of the case. And in terms of cooling we've got at the back a rear exhaust which is 120mm. At the top we've got a 200mm LED fan and to the side we've got space there again for another 200mm fan and so you get the idea that inside over here we've got lots of possibilities and lots of opportunity to create good airflow. In order to get our optical drives in and out of the five and a quarter bays all we need to do is slide the drive in and this will automatically pinch the drive and the pins will go into the mounting holes and then to remove all you need to do is press this button uh, to release the drive and then just slide it out. So a very easy idea, it's all toolless and uh, in this bottom section here we've got four covers on the front but we've only got three for the toolless design. In the, uh, in the bottom one though we've got the adapter for putting in um, two and a half inch or three and a half inch drive if we wanted to attach that instead. Beneath this is the hard disk drive storage and we've got here five different options for attaching two and a half inch or three and a half inch drives and you can see if I just remove one of these for you all you need to do is pinch the sides and the tray just slides out like this and this is actually quite good quality um, it is very sturdy and to attach a three and a half inch drive inside here just drop the drive into the tray and attach two screws on either side and that fixes that in place and then for two and a half inch all we need to do is drop the drive into here you can see there the mounting holes for the, uh, the two and a half inch SSD and you would just apply the screws from the underside and that fixes that into place so good options in, st in terms of hard disk drive storage and behind here we've got the cooling fan again which is 200mm uh, and that's LED now in terms of clearance we've got lots of space for big CPU coolers inside the Overseer. Obviously we've got that convex side panel and the overall width just allows for us to um, get the big flagships inside there like your Noctua NHD14, Thermalrite Silver Arrow which are 160mm in height. Thermaltake actually claimed that we can install here a CPU cooler which has a maximum height of 177mm. So that's quite big. Here I've got the Noctua NH-U12P which is 158mm and you can see there are plenty of space around there. Graphics card clearance is again the same situation. We've got lots of space for high-end uh, big graphics cards. We've got here the NVIDIA GTX 480 which is 11 inches in length. We've got at least 2 or 3 inches before we touch that hard disk drive cage. So we've got a maximum clearance here of, of approximately 12 and a half, 13 inches. That covers AMD 6990, which is 12 inches in length. Um, so in terms of clearance for graphics cards, CPU coolers, Overseer is fantastic. I know some of you guys might be interested in getting water cooling kit inside Overseer. So we're just going to take a look at some of the options available. Now, I'll just show you attaching it to the very top of the case. This is the Phobia G Charger 240 rad and you can see there it's just far too thick to actually attach to the uh, to the top of the case with that front panel on top so that's not an option but we do have the ability to drop this onto the underside of the case at the very top there um, all we need to do is fix it down into place obviously we remove this fan here and uh, there are mounting holes there for you to attach that and um, there is no clearance issues for the motherboard or anything like that so that's just confirmation that we can attach water cooling but it would need to be on the inside of the top of the case so guys I hope you've enjoyed the video today that pretty much concludes our review and as you've seen from the video Overseer is a very capable case it's got the accommodation for big CPU coolers, big graphics cards 
great cable management with all the um, the space and obviously the uh, the grommets. We've also got the extension cable for EATX, so we can route that through to the back. That's a real nice touch for them to uh, actually include that in the package. Uh, we've got big fans. We've got one at the front and one at the top, 200 mil, and those obviously provide great thermal performance. And um, you know, it's just a very capable case. It just comes down to preference, really, whether you like the looks of it or not. Some people prefer this sort of rugged gamer sort of perspex window LED flashing lights and some prefer elegant and sleek. It does falls down to your own personal preference. If you want any more detail on this particular case, because I've only done a quick overview of it today, uh, shoot over to Vortez.net. I've done a full review over there. There's just more detail, thermal performance results and things like that. So guys, thanks for watching again. Thanks for all the support. If you've got any comments or any uh, questions, just drop them in the box below and I'll see you soon.